So I, I'm a clinical cardiologist and I run a dedicated cardiology clinic for um, pediatric age and adults uh, with various inherited neuromuscular disorders. Um, most of the patients are Duchenne or Becker, but there's a mixture of other conditions. And I work very closely with the John Walton um, muscle team at the International Centre for Life in Newcastle. The main focus of my research for the last, uh, well, nearly 10 years has been a randomised study seeing whether protective treatment for the heart in Duchenne patients can delay the onset of heart muscle weakness uh, or change the trajectory of left ventricular dysfunction. So 85 boys were recruited between the ages of 5 and 13 and followed for a minimum of three years. We treated them with a combination of perindopril, that's an ACE inhibitor, and a beta blocker uh, and there was a placebo comparator group. Somewhat disappointingly the results do not show any group benefit after three years of treatment but we think that's partly explained by the fact that younger patients and the variation in the age of onset of muscle weakness won't show in a three-year time period. So we're hoping to follow the patients for longer there are beginning to be some changes which may prove to be interesting, but at the moment we have to conclude after three years of treatment there is no difference between active and placebo treatment. So essentially if I'm the scientist I would say that the study is negative. If on the other hand I'm a clinician I believe that the treatments are beneficial for the heart in Duchenne because we know already that once we detect muscle weakness at an early stage that the trajectory of the decline in heart function is helped and slowed by the treatments we were testing. So I think it's more an effect of saying the earlier you start treatment the harder it is to show a benefit. Uh, the AFM, of course, is pivotal in providing funding for a wide range of research and it also ensures a balance between the investigation of different conditions. The uh, AFM, I think, is essential to maintaining the momentum that's been built up over recent years and is allowing translation of research and the relevance of basic science and molecular biology into the clinic much faster. So the research funding is critical, the networking is critical, the meetings under the auspices of the organisation ensure spreading of information much, much more rapidly than traditional methods. Yeah.